Megan. Welcome back to my channel. I had previously done a video where I talked about the time that I decided to enter a pageant, which was just not the best idea. If you haven't seen that video, you can go check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Before this video starts, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. This is actually like one of my favorite stories from the whole trip and I just didn't like put it in the last one because I just, it didn't really fit. I got to the pageant and I noticed the day before the pageant was starting that there was this girl who was in the lobby a lot and she was just always like having a water. On the first day, her suitcase was with her and I was just assumed that she was waiting for like her room to be cleaned or whatever. And then I noticed that she was continuously always just in the lobby throughout like the next couple days. And I always saw her snacking on things. And just like she always had like one of those plastic cups in the lobby just filled with like the lemon water or whatever. And it's something about it felt really weird because she always had like her suitcase and like her bag of like dresses with her. And I was like, what's going on with this chick, right? She was in the division above me, which is like the Miss division. So I think she was like 20 or 21 years old. So I got chatting to her a little bit and I was I was like, hey, like, you know, like, I'm making it. I just wanted to kind of like get to know her and I was gonna ask her like, hey, why are you always in the lobby? <laughs> but I felt like that'd be a little weird or almost like rude. So I decided to kind of back off a little bit. And then later on, I saw her in the lobby of the hotel. I went up to her and I was like, oh my gosh, like I, I feel like I always see you sitting here. She's like, well, <laughs> Well, this is pretty much like my hotel room for the week, so. And I laughed because I was like, Oh, like, that's funny. She was like, Yeah, no, like, this is pretty much like where I've been staying. And I was like, Bitch, what? Like, are you for real? Like, are you joking? Like, I didn't know what was happening. And she just looks at me and she's like, Well, when I got to the hotel, I didn't know that, that I had to give a credit card and I didn't bring my credit card with me. And she looked a decent amount away. So I couldn't check into the hotel. And I was like, well, why do you, like, there's ways to get around that. Like, you can call home and stuff. And she's like, well, I don't have enough money on my credit card for the hotel to put the deposit on and everything. So I'm just kind of like hopping around room to room. If not, then I'm just kind of finding like a little hidden place to crash for the night. And I was like, Oh my god, this chick is crazy. And I said to her, I was like, well, what have you been like eating? Like, how, did you have enough money for food? And she's like, oh yeah, like, I've been eating like the snacks at like the front desk. And then she was like talking about how like she like just goes to like the free breakfast in the morning and just takes a bunch of stuff and like loads up for the day. And she was just talking about it so casually. I was like, well, if you ever need somewhere to like, come hang out, but like if I'm honest, I didn't really want her in my room because like I had so much stuff with me for the stupid pageant, like dresses and everything. I didn't really have room for all her shit. <laughs> Piper, go get a toy. Go get a toy. Go get a toy. So I asked her to add me on Facebook because I was like, I want to see if she's been posting about it. And sure enough, I get her on my Facebook and like prior to the pageant, she's begging people for money. She can barely afford to do this, asking for everyone to just give her everything for free. And I was like, bitch, you're like 20 or 21. Like if this is something you really wanted to do, you can easily have a job and go do this. You know what I mean? Work your ass off and then take that money you made and put it into that. Like this chick was just asking for a handout the whole damn weekend. This chick was just living homeless to try and win the pageant. She didn't even make it into top 15. Another story, if you had watched my last video, you would know that the royalty were total bitches. While everyone was on stage like performing for like doing their casual wear routine, my mom happened to be sitting right near to where like the royalty were. And when girls were on stage, the royalty were just like, oh my god, like she's so ugly. Just like talking absolute trash about them like making fun of the girls so here's the part where <laughs> I, this is kind of embarrassing on my part. There was a category that we could enter like on the side. It wasn't mandatory. And it was like for speeches, like to go up there and like make a speech for like what you want to do like with your life and everything. <laughs> So I decided that I wanted to enter Spokes Model because I actually did a lot of like speech competitions as a kid and stuff. So the whole thing is about like your hopes and dreams and shit, right? And there's like these girls going out <laughs> and they're like, I want to be a doctor one day so I can save all the 
children and perform brain surgery. I want to be a lawyer and like for female justice and blah 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 blah. One girl out there claiming she's gonna be the next motherfucking president. And then it's my turn. <laughs> my my dumb ass goes out there and my whole speech is about how I wanted to be on Saturday Night Live one day. <laughs> the speech ended with like and live from blah blah pageants it's saturday night i mean it was true at that time in my life i wanted to go like to comedy school before i went on stage to go on to fun fashion we all had to like line up and i like had this really cute like fun fashion thing going on one of my friends was also there and we had been wearing the same outfit i knew going into this if i did not have something custom made i was probably going to end up having the same outfit as another girl i was fine with it because i kind of customized it myself and we put like a b stones all over but my friend that i had made she turned out to be wearing the same outfit Bit, but she had put like butterflies all over it and she had like butterflies on the back of her high heels which is like a choice for her <laughs> so when she saw that i was like oh my god no way this chick she was not happy she was freaking out she was like are you sure that's what you want to wear I'm like considering it's the only fun fashion i brought i'm gonna say yeah i also was like the one going on stage before her so but yeah, I just wanted to tell you those few more stories. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Sorry my uploading has been a little wonky lately. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Bye!